So this is a sagittal view of my spine. We're about in the middle of the spine. Um, you can see the vertebrae, disc, vertebrae, disc. Spinal cord is over here. The lamina, spinous process, facet joints are back here. So this is a normal disc. These up here are nice and bright. These down here are not. This is disc desiccation, desiccation, severe disc desiccation, loss of height between the vertebrae. The disc is herniated down into this. It's called a schmorl's node. It's a defect in the end plate of the vertebrae, this L4 vertebrae. And disc disease here and here. I got disc, disc disease throughout the lumbar spine. Severe disease between L3, L4. I got four bulging discs. See the little bulge there in the spinal cord? All four of these discs are protruding. And we've got uh, these white parts on the vertebrae are called modic changes. It's inflammation inside the vertebrae causing axial pain. I had a procedure called intracept. They go inside of this bone and kill the, there's one, the, the vertebrae has a lot of nerves in it that go up to each end plate, but there's one nerve that exits the base of vertebral. So they go in there and basically kill that nerve so you don't get pain from the nerves inside the vertebrae. So that helped a lot with my axial pain, but I also had pain because of compressed nerves. So we just moved out away from the center of the spine a little bit. So these openings in the side of the vertebrae are called foramen. And this is the nerves and fatty tissue. The nerves come out from the spine through these foramen and go to different parts of your body. So these are normal up here. They take up the entire foramen. Down here we have some mild narrowing stenosis. And L3-4 we have severe stenosis. 4-5 we have severe stenosis. 5-S1 we have mild to moderate stenosis. So these nerves are getting severely pinched, causing pain radiating pain down the uh, uh, buttocks and hips and legs. So we'll switch to a axial view and show some more. So here's an axial view of my spine. Um, laying down, we're looking up from the bottom so this is the right over here and the left over here. This is my butt down here. This is the vertebrae L2, two, L2 vertebrae. Uh, this is my aorta up here. And this is the fecal sac that houses the spinal cord. All these dots are the individual nerves running up and down the spine. This is the spinous process, the bony part on the back of the vertebrae that you can feel on your back. These are the lamina, also bony part of the vertebrae. And these are the facet joints between vertebrae. This dark area in here is ligaments, called ligamentum flavum. Mine are kind of bunched up and inflamed and putting pressure on the spinal cord. It's not too bad here. We're going to go down to... This is L2-3, between L2-3. This is the disc. If we move up, that's the vertebrae. That's the disc, 
That's the vertebrae. So the uh, disc is protruding, putting a little pressure on the spinal cord. There's a little bit of inflammation here of the ligaments. And we go down to L3, 4. We have a little bit more inflammation, disc bulging. And then we go down to L4, 5. We have a significant amount of inflamed ligaments, disc bulging. There's arthritis in these facet joints. <clears throat> it's all squeezing the spine. It's called stenosis, causing me a lot of pain, radiating pain into my buttocks, my hips, my legs, my thighs, my calves. And we go down further to L5S1. Not too bad down here. A little bit of disc bulging, not so much inflammation of the ligaments. Go back up to L4, 5. You can see how small the spinal cord you go up, it opens back up. You go down, it opens back up. But between L4 and 5, it's severely compressed. So they're going to go in and do a minimally invasive spinal decompression surgery. It's called a laminectomy. They're going to re remove a little bit of this bone, the lamina, and they're going to remove some of the ligament to take pressure off the spinal cord and hopefully relieve my pain. <laughs>